Samsung just officially unveiled its long-rumored XR headsets, Project Muhan, now officially called the Samsung Galaxy XR. It's Samsung's first real step into high-end mixed reality since the old Gear VR days, and this time they're teaming up with Google and Qualcomm. So today we're comparing the Galaxy XR to its biggest competitors, the Apple Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3, to see which headset actually makes the most sense in 2025. And if you're new here, then welcome to the Virtual Moose channel. My name is Pete, and here we cover all things VR, from news to reviews, tutorials, and guides. I'm currently working my way up to my first ever 2,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy the content, then I would highly appreciate you subscribing. All right, so let's start with the price. So the MetaQuest 3 still remains the budget-friendly option at 499 US dollars, whereas the Samsung Galaxy XR comes in at 1,799 US dollars, or they also offer $149 a month for an entire year. Meanwhile, Apple Vision Pro still reigns as the most expensive, coming in at a hefty 3,499 US dollars. So that places Samsung's Galaxy XR firmly in the middle of the two, coming in at three times the price of the MetaQuest 3, but half the price of the Apple Vision Pro. So if you're after value, Meta clearly wins hands down. Samsung's aiming for the middle, like I said, kind of bringing premium features from the Apple Vision Pro, but without the Apple price tag. Meta launched the Quest 3 in late 2023. Apple's Vision Pro arrived originally in early 2024 with a new M5 chip variant refresh coming this year. Now, Samsung's Galaxy XR did just debut very recently in October 21st and is starting out in the US and Korea before expanding globally. So when it comes to operating systems, the Vision Pro runs the Vision OS, perfectly tied into Apple's tight ecosystem. MetaQuest 3, on the other hand, runs the Horizon OS, which is more built around gaming and social experiences. And the Galaxy XR introduces Android XR, co-developed by Google and Samsung. That means access to Google Play apps and the new XR optimized experiences, something that no other headset in this lineup offers. Under the hood, Apple is using its M5 chip, that is if you're using the latest refreshed version of the Apple Vision Pro. Metas is powered by the Qualcomm XR2 Gen 2, and Samsung steps it up another level with the XR2 Plus Gen 2, which offers around 20% faster CPU and 15% faster GPU performance. So in terms of raw power, the Samsung XR headset clearly uh, outperforms the MetaQuest 3. Though it's likely that Apple's M5 chip will have improved performance over Samsung's headset, but with We'll still have to wait and see for a few more performance benchmarks coming from Samsung's headset since it is still relatively new. It literally came out yesterday. When it comes to displays, Apple is still in the lead with its dual micro OLED panels, delivering roughly 23 million pixels in total. Samsung follows closely behind with dual 4K OLED OS panels, a wide field of view, I believe it was 109 degrees horizontal and 100 degrees vertical field of view, and full eye and hand tracking. Meanwhile, Meta is using LCD panels at 2064 by 2208 per eye, still pretty sharp, but not quite flagship level like the Apple Vision Pro and the Samsung headsets. So Apple wins for pure clarity. Samsung is closing the gap fast though, and meanwhile Meta remains more focused on accessibility rather than having like the top of the line specs. Each headset targets a different type of user. The Apple Vision Pro is a high-end spatial computer built for productivity and immersive media. The MetaQuest 3 is a versatile gaming and entertainment headset that's accessible for most users. And the Samsung Galaxy XR is the world's first AI-first headset, powered by Google Gemini, and it's built to kind of blend AI, mixed reality, and Android all into a single ecosystem. So we're thinking voice, gaze, and gesture all working together with the AI to bring some new functionality to Samsung's headset that we haven't really seen in any other headsets. So here's how they stack up overall. The Apple Vision Pro has a stunning display, premium build with metal and glass, seamless Apple integration, but is extremely expensive and certainly not very open in typical Apple fashion. The MetaQuest 3 offers amazing value, is lightweight, and with a huge library of games, but the display quality and pro apps are certainly limited when compared to Apple and Samsung. And finally, Samsung's Galaxy XR goes for a more AI-driven interaction approach. It has open Android access and strong specs, but it is still a brand new ecosystem 
system, we're not entirely sure about its battery life and is limited to certain regions, at least at launch. So if you're more focused on productivity or enterprise work, the Vision Pro still dominates if you are willing to fork up that amount of money. If you want the best VR gaming and entertainment, however, MetaQuest 3 is unbeatable at that price point. But if you wanted to see where AI and mixed reality are heading, then Samsung's Galaxy XR could be the most exciting headset of the next generation and perhaps an indicator of the future of VR and AI combined headsets. So what do you guys think? Can Samsung's Galaxy XR really compete with Apple and Meta? I actually think it's more of a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro. Like I don't see it at that price point competing with the MetaQuest headsets at all. I just think they have completely different audiences. Uh, the MetaQuest headset is clearly more accessible to everyone. I've still seen people saying that the Quest 3 is still at too high of a price point for the average person to adopt VR, which means that the Samsung Galaxy XR is going to be like way out of the question. Uh, however, if you were like looking at the Apple Vision Pro and you wanted it for more productivity purposes or entertainment consumption, but you just couldn't quite afford that Apple Vision Pro, I do think that at basically half the price, the Samsung Galaxy XR is a really solid option. And quite frankly, I'm happy that they didn't go the route of just like completely copying the Apple Vision Pro. The headsets do look similar, but it, Samsung has clearly gone for more of like an AI driven approach, which I think is an interesting take on the technology and they're making good use of their available resources. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the Samsung Galaxy XR? Is it something you're considering to pick up yourself or are you gonna hold out for perhaps a more gaming focused headset from Valve, for example? Let me know down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you leave me a like. I can use all the support I can get on this channel at the moment, really try my best to grow it to at least 2,000 subscribers this year. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.